Dandelion is a national festival that is celebrating the culmination of creativity in the arts with science, technology and agriculture with a key ethos message of sustainability and encouraging everyone in Scotland to sow, grow and share. SRUC has been involved in the Dandelion programme of events from the research and development phase so for over a year now. Um, it's been spearheaded by Fiona Burnett uh, with myself and Hannah Rudman. Initially we were providing a lot of the consultation that was around the agricultural part and the science and technology of bringing the ideas of vertical farming and local growing into the sort of the threads and the programs of events. Dandelion has many different many different themes and threads that all kind of come together with a variety of different programs that are happening all across Scotland that follow the arc of the growing season right from the very beginning where we, we've been giving out uh, plug plants for free to the general public where they can grow at home through to a an enormous schools program where we have 468 primary schools across Scotland involved and around about 100 secondary schools as well. In terms of how our students are involved there's a couple of different ways we have 35 paid student placements that all that were advertised to all of SRUC's students and they cover four different very specific job roles. So we have a number of students that are here with me in the Glass House in Edinburgh producing around about 80,000 plants that are being given away at what are called free for all events. So the public can come and collect some plants and take them home. We have another group of students who are actually based at the free for all events where they're engaging directly with the public, talking about the plants that are being given away, encouraging the general public to get involved in growing. We also have a digital team, so we have um, a number of students working with Hannah Rudman on all things digital, that includes creating crop profiles, supporting the schools programme with any uh, troubleshooting that they need, um, working with the, the Marcoms, the marketing and communications team of Dandelion as well, creating Instagram posts and helping with segments for the website and all sorts. And then finally, we also have another group of students who are each gonna be allocated an unexpected garden. So these are gardens that are popping up all across Scotland and our students are involved by supporting the creation and successful production of these unexpected gardens. In addition to that, um, I've been very fortunate that I deliver a lot of the classes at SRUC here at King's Buildings involving crop production. So all of my classes that involve any form of practical activity, dandelion activities have been in integrated into that. And it's really incredible how engaged the students have been because it's for a purpose. And I think that they can see the bigger picture and what dandelion stands for. And even just their participation in the classes, them wanting to get involved, has just been incredible. I can't even explain the difference. And that's certainly something I'm gonna take forward into future years of delivering classes as well. So we have had a number of free-for-all events already, and the final of which has been at the, the last I should say, has been at the Glasgow Festival. So this was a three-day event in Kelvin Grove Park in Glasgow that brought together artists, scientists, school kids, food trucks, and this really sort of amazing conglomerate of wonderful people all coming together to get Dandelion's message across. And it was a three-day event in Glasgow, 44,000 people attended over the three days. And there was one of these free-for-all events on the Sunday as well. So all of the 8,000 plants that went across to Glasgow for that have all been given away. There is another festival coming up as well from the 2nd to the 4th of September up in Inverness. So if you did get to go to Glasgow, there is another one coming up. And again, there will be other free for all events as well happening over the next few weeks as well. Um, we have one in Edinburgh on the 10th of July. So if you are Edinburgh based, I would highly recommend um, heading to that. And you can check out dandelion.scot, our website, to have a look at all the different dates and all of the different programs that are happening all across Scotland for Dandelion.